Hello everyone, happy be here. In this video I'm going to make a tutorial about Unity AI and this is my very first AI tutorial in this channel. The AI in this example, in this tutorial is an enemy object. I will create an enemy object that will follow player, that will move to catch a player wherever the player is going and the main feature I really need why I do this AI <coughs> tutorial is because the AI enemy can avoid obstacles for example walls or any colliders the enemy will avoid obstacles to catch players Previously, I've made some tutorials about such thing, but it is not smart enough. It is not smart because the enemy will always move forward. Even in front of the enemy is a wall, the enemy is keep moving forward and it will stop on a wall if the player is behind the wall. So, we need AI to make smarter enemy. And this is my very first tutorial and I enjoy it. If you like the video later, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can uh, you can watch my next videos. I will start with plane here and then I'm going to add some cubes. This plane will be the floor. I'm going to create, uh, sorry, create a material for the floor, so it shouldn't be bright white like this. We cannot say anything like this. Floor material. We set the color to, for example, this orange color. And apply it here. And I will add some cubes. Let's say these cubes are obstacles that the enemy should avoid when the enemy is moving and catching player. I will make another one here. Alright, and I'm going to create two capsule objects. Oh, this plane is too small. Let me increase the size of this sphere. This way. And the cubes, I need to increase their size. Their size. And position them this way. Okay, and here is the player object. I will name it player I will duplicate this capsule and this one I use it as I will use it as enemy and enemy and for the player I will assign attack player attack to this object now we have we are done with the objects Hang on, I'm going to add some details to this enemy play, enemy object so you can see the difference which one is the enemy and which one is the player. I will add something like this. And also this one. Okay, that's funny enough. Alright, this is our enemy. We will need a special component, which is AI component to this enemy object. And the component is Nav Mesh Agent. <coughs> 
the map mesh agent set its type to human aid. It has steering, speed, and so on. You can play around with that. And let me check. Piece offset. You can adjust the piece offset to be like this. To make sure the piece is above the ground. Alright, that is the enough mesh agent for this object and the next thing is to add enough mesh to this floor go to if you don't have a navigation tab here go to window oh, yes, AI and navigation open it and mark this object as static object and here you have this navigation static is checked, generate of mesh link is checked, work above and go to pick then hit pick button. Okay, okay I think it's done. The pick process is done. <coughs> then we need to select these three objects, the walls obstacles we need to set those objects as <coughs> navigation static and set them as not walkable go to bake and click bake then you will see this thing you will see this area it marked as non walkable area so the AI enemy won't go here if the player is here the enemy won't stuck here to chase the player it will walk to avoid the obstacle and continue to move towards the player previously I made a tutorial which is <coughs> not good enough to make enemy so the enemy will stuck here if the enemy is chasing this player that is behind this wall so let's try this one as a solution for our game okay the next thing is let's try no we need to add a script to this player no, the player the enemy the enemy object we need a script let's call it enemy edit the script here we need to add we need some variables private transform uh, player transform and then the second one private <coughs> nav mesh agent and nav yeah don't forget to import unit engine dot ai here on start we need to define what is the player transform player transform equals to <coughs> game object find uh, game object that find Nav mesh agent. 
have the destination we need to set the destination the destination should be uh, transform dot position then we go back to unity editor we will attach the script to this enemy object enemy object enemy script to enemy object okay and let's test it it is our first try let's see is there any error i can see okay there is the enemy it is moving to chase the player and i'm going to move the player here or here you can see that the player wherever we move the player even even behind this wall that ai enemy is moving avoiding the obstacles the walls to catch the player of course you can set the <coughs> speed of the enemy by playing around with this uh, inspector go to inspector and left mesh agent properties here we have speed here <coughs> you can increase the speed from level 10 to make it faster let's try it and here we go the enemy is moving faster no matter where the enemy where the player is the enemy will catch the player Okay, what do you think guys? It is uh, easy or complicated? I think it is easy. And I think that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next, uh, see you next time on my videos. See you soon on my next videos. Bye bye guys.